Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the whole IBA team, I wish you a warm welcome. Tonight, I feel honored to introduce this special event. And I also feel excited to finally unveil the result of several months of development. And I must say that I'm quite proud to uh, demonstrate that once again, IBA is pioneering the world of radio pharmaceuticals productions. What about you? How do you feel? Curious? Eager? Hungry? <laughs> Are you ready to discover the cyclone of technology? <laughs> so tonight, I ask two of our major experts to present this innovation. Uh, the first speaker will be Fabienne de Villers. She is product manager, and she's interface between the market and the um, research and development. So she listens to the customer's needs, and she translates it into cyclotron specifications. And doing so, she was at the heart of the development of this new machine. And the second speaker will be Jean-Michel Gates. He is the cyclotron expert. Most of you already know him. Uh, he's not only a cyclotron engineer, he's also a specialist in radio pharmacies integration. He's been working at IBA for 15 years, and um, no one else is better pleased than him to uh, present the technical details of this new cyclotron. So I don't want to make you wait any longer. I leave the floor to Fabienne, to our inspiring Fabienne, and I wish you a pleasant moment. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I have the privilege to reveal the secret IB has been working on for several months. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll ask you a few more minutes of patience. The time for me to tell you a story. It will be a travel back in time, and it will start in the early 80s. I was just born, and at that time, the nuclear medicine landscape was very different than it is today. Positron emission tomography was just beginning. And do you know what were the two conditions that made the development of PET imaging possible? First, the discovery of FDG, and second, the evolution of the cyclotron technology. You're probably thinking that FDG was already discovered, it was in 1976, 40 years ago, and that there were already cyclotrons at that time. And you're right, but let's talk about the cyclotrons of the early 80s. There were not that many. They were big, they were very complex, and they were not efficient at all. A little percent of energetic efficiency. Do you think any commercial distributor of isotopes will be interested to start a business plan based on such inefficient machine? And that's where our hero steps in with a revolutionary idea. Yves Youngen, IBS founder, came with a totally new concept of cyclotron. And this concept was supposed to increase the energetic efficiency of the cyclotron by a factor 15, three times less electrical power for five times more beam production. In 1985, he patented the concept and presented it to an international conference on particle accelerators, with the objective to find some investors to build the first prototype. And guess what? Nobody was interested. If Jungen was even told, you know, if it was so easy, it would have been done for a long time already. So Yves came back to Belgium, still looking for some funding, and the only solution in Belgium to get some was to create a company. March 28, 1986, IBA was born, and by the end of the year, the cyclotron prototype demonstrated that this concept was a real success. 15 kilowatt of, electric of beam power were produced out of, out of 100 kilowatt of electrical power, the 15% cyclotron efficiency. 
This concept was immediately a success. And in 1988, there were already four of these machines sold. And that represented a 100% market share. Everybody wanted the new so-called Deep Valley cyclotron concept. So I hope it is clear now that IBA was born through a cyclotron revolution. From this initial Deep Valley patent, more than 150 were granted to IBA for innovation in cyclotrons. And of course, the machine we are presenting tonight is benefiting from this culture of technology. Among all these patents, I would like to mention still three of them. The first one, the stable and reliable dual beam from 2003. It was like having two cyclotrons in one. You could simultaneously bombard two targets and double your production. One cyclotron, double production. The second one from 2008, it's the twin proton source that dramatically increased the reliability of the machines. It's like having two engines in your car, in case one is unexpectedly done or needs maintenance, you could switch to the other and continue to produce and deliver. So your customer is happy, and for you, no loss of profit and a peace of mind. And the third one, from 2011, were the niobium conical targets for fluorating production that allows to, to save 20% of the expensive enriched water. Do you remember that water you have to buy $50 a gram? Ladies and gentlemen, there it comes. Our cyclone of technology. 30 years of innovation, expertise and experience concentrated in one cube. It was an extraordinary collaboration work with all IBA departments and also and above all with our customers and users. There were many discussions during our users' meeting, on the phone, or even during parties to understand what were the main challenges our users were facing in their day-to-day -day work. And from this discussion, we extracted the three pillars on which this new cyclotron development has been based. Reliability, you cannot miss a production. Flexibility, the cyclotron has to adapt to the needs of the customer and evolve with him. And third one, high performances for high production output. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to present the Cyclone Cube, IBA's new 18 MeV cyclotron, fully optimized, more compact and more powerful. It has been designed to deliver, designed forever, and designed for you. And now, I let our fellow Jean-Michel give more details about this big baby and explain why the Cyclone Cube is the perfect solution for your radio pharmacy. Jean-Michel, <laughs> the floor is yours. Thank you and uh, good evening, everybody. So I hope that you get that this Cyclone Cube is designed to deliver, designed forever, and designed for you. So I will briefly explain those three concepts and show you some proof uh, of what we have achieved uh, today. So the Cyclone Cube is designed to deliver, and it's an 18 MeV proton machine. Why? 18 MeV is proven to be the best energy to production for the production of PET radioisotope, but it's also the most efficient way to produce those isotopes as well as to gain access, sorry for the light, uh, as to gain access to uh, technetium 99M. But on top of the energy, what is important, it's also the outstanding beam performance that we get out of this cyclotron. And so, how do we get that? This cyclotron is more compact than before. It has a very high pumping capacity for beam transmission, and we have optimized the central region and the ion source for proton production. Today, the two proton sources inside of the cyclotron are self-tuned from the outside by motors, and they will find the best position for uh, proton beam optimization. 
So this machine, this new cyclone cube, is uh, designed for PET radioisotope as well as other uh, radioisotope in, in mind. So this cyclotron is designed forever. We have designed this cyclotron in a way that you can start uh, in a configuration with 10 Curie, you will reach 15 Curie and 20 Curie. Well, what if you don't need such high capacity today? Of course, you will start with the same machine, and we will carry on with upgrades on site with limited downtime to upgrade the capacity of your machine by upgrade packs. Um, after the extensive test that we did at IBA factory, we have reached this capacity of 20 Curie in two hours, which translates to 180 microamps on target. We are still confident that we have room for improvement on that. But what if you need more radioisotopes? As you see, this uh, cyclone cube has uh, eight exit ports, and so you can plug plenty, the full range of target on the machine. So for example, one typical configuration could be two fluorine target, one uh, carbon-11, one ammonia, one liquid gallium, which is hot topic today, uh, one oxygen-15, and one solid target for non-standard radioisotope. So you still have room for an extra target or for a beam line. The targets are all around the machine to reduce the dose rate during maintenance, and the targets are fixed at the maximum or the best position, so there are no moving parts for trouble-free operation. So this new cyclone cube is a truly flexible yet powerful design where you can produce as well as clinical uh, products and research products on the same cyclotron. So you can cope with both demand. Today, this Cyclone Cube is also designed for you. As Fabian explained, we have listened a lot uh, to our customers, and we know what is important for them. Now, what is important for you, I think, thank you. What is important for you and the design for you when we, discuss, we are discussing with customers is the, uh, the uptime of the machine and the maintainability of the machine. Thank you very much. So today we have installed the first cyclotron in hospital in Brussels, and we had extensive discussion with the, with the customer at that time. And so we are proud that we have embedded into the design of the machine the maximum possible uptime. So the cyclotron, the cyclone cube, is available with twin proton sources. With a much more compact design, you can reach all the subsystem inside of the machine very easily. And with the high-speed vacuum pumps, you gain uptime, so you can go back online uh, with your cyclotron in less than 30 minutes after maintenance. The software is also uh, checking all the machine parameters and is providing you uh, alerts when it's time to do the maintenance. You get also the software in uh, multiple languages, so we are taking care of our customers. We are helping them in the training because this software will be in their own language. With the package, with the cyclotron, you receive uh, as well the auto start, which is a nice feature. The cyclotron, will, the cyclotron will automatically start in the morning, as well as the remote access uh, for the maximum of time and the support by IBA. But today, the most important part is this new cyclotron cube could be self-shielded as well. So we believe that this is the best solution for existing space, as well as the replacement market, and uh, some limited space in hospital with the, the 100 microamp configuration or the 10 Curie cyclotron, where you can still upgrade to 15 Curie. So with this compact design and the uh, self-shielded configuration, IBA is the only company today that is able to offer the CGMP compliant radiopharmacy in less than 100 square meters. For the US, it's 1,000 square feet. So this is 20% uh, smaller than available radiopharmacy today on the market. So we have a true cyclotron, 18 MeV, full beam power, full capacity, upgradable. And the best claim on the machine 
is maximum performance and maximum capacity inside of the cyclotron. So I thank you all for attending today this unveiling ceremony. If you have any question, I will be at the party, <laughs> as usual, for those who know me. <laughs> and I leave uh, Rebecca for the conclusion. Thank you very much. Well, the Cyclone Cube is now unveiled, and uh, you discover that its possibilities have been cubed. Uh, it has been designed to deliver outstanding performances. It has been designed forever and designed for you. And we are convinced, it's clear for all of us, that the Cyclone Cube will make history again. But we don't stop here. And I'd like to let you in on a little secret. By the ENM annual meeting in October, IBA will be presenting not one, but two major breakthroughs. So stay tuned and meet us in Barcelona. And since you are here, I would like, if you agree, I would like to address a special thanks to the core team and all the team that have been involved in the development of this new Cyclone Cube. They did such a hard and great work. So if you agree to uh, address an applause for them. I am pleased to conclude this special event. I would like to thank you so much for sharing this special moment with us.